Hello everyone, Bob here, and welcome to the Voice of the Movies. For this week, we are going to focus on the Mission Impossible Fallout soundtrack. Uh, Mission Impossible Fallout is the sixth installment in the Mission Impossible franchise. Uh, Lorne Balfi uh, composed the score for this film, and this is, of course, the Mondo release. Uh, let's uh, look at what all is included with this uh, album, and then we will uh, talk about the score itself. First, we'll take a look at the OB here. And of course, the spine. And then, There's the actual album artwork. The spine. That was a little embarrassing. Pretty much has the same information as the spine of the OB. There's the back. So that's a little bit of information about the movie here and the score. There's your track listing. There's the pictures from the film. Actually you pan all the way down. It has your credits for the film. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are grooves cut in this. And what it is, it says, this contains an in interpolation of the Mission Impossible theme. This message will self-destruct five seconds after playing. Whether it actually does or not, I don't know. I've never actually tried to play this, but I think it's kind of cool that this is included. Then we have the insert here. Let me flip it over. It has the album credits and then a note uh, from Christopher McQuarrie who directed this film and Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. And here is the LPs themselves. Uh, this is the plutonium core variant. Uh, the flip side of these, uh, just like this one here, the flip side is identical except it says side B and has the track listing for side B. Uh, same with this one. Uh, the other side just says side B. But they're kind of cool and they are fogged over enough you cannot see your hand underneath them, which is kind of cool. Of course, throughout this album, there are bits and pieces of the actual Mission Impossible theme that originated back with the TV show in the 1960s. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know it. It is uh, one of the more iconic themes from TV show history. And of course, now it's iconic because of the film franchise. There are two tracks on this album I would like to highlight. Um, the first is Free Fall, which if you've seen the movie, is the part where um, Henry Cavill's character and uh, Ethan Hunt jump out of the uh, airplane. They're doing the free fall into uh, Paris so they can go meet with the White Widow and, and intercept John Mark. Um, it's a very, uh, it does a good job of when it starts, it, it's like awe-inspiring at how high they are in the air when they're jumping. And, um, and if you've seen the movie, you know, during the jump, there are uh, complications that uh, occur and it does a good job of building tension and working uh, and uh, building the anticipation up. Uh, the other uh, track I wanted to talk about is called, is We Are Never Free and it's on uh, Side C. And that uh, is a bit that's in uh, when 
uh, Rebecca Ferguson and Tom Cruise's characters are talking in uh, in Paris. They're uh, it's kind of it's not an actiony moment. It's uh, more of a plot moving moment, but it's the music is very well done. It accompanies it right. It hits all the right notes. It um, does a good job of conveying that uh, uh, Rebecca Ferguson's character uh, is still in turmoil, and uh, Tom Cruise's uh, Ethan Hunt is uh, disappointed. I guess is the best way to put that, but it's more of a soft, slower. Now is a uh, refreshing bit to have in the middle of uh, a giant action movie. The back of the album has a description, which I'm going to read, and it does a very apt job of describing this score. It says, crafting a modern, militaristic, melancholic soundscape. Uh, that is pretty much a very accurate description of what most of this score is. It's, it's very modern, and it's very um, mil military. I'm trying to think what would be the best way to say this. Uh, when John, um, there's a old song called When Johnny Comes Marching Home that kind of, some of the cadences kind of make you think a little bit of that about it. I mean, it isn't borrowing from that song by any stretch of the imagination, but some of the cadences, the way it moves along makes you, uh, has makes you think of it, or especially after uh, I read that and I got to thinking about it, it did. Um, and there are a lot of um, moments that are um, have kind of a depressing or a Feel, uh, sorry feeling moments in this film and uh, the music does a good job of hitting on that so that is a very accurate description of the uh, of the album uh, the score is excellent for this film it's uh, my favorite of the Mission Impossible scores it um, you it ex did a wonderful job of incorporating the classic theme with new material and uh, still felt everything still felt fresh so I want to give the, um, the score itself, I want to give it an A. And the pressing by Mondo is, of course, top notch. So, I mean, if you're on the fence about this one, this is, this, if, you, if you're an action movie fan and you like the sound, the scores to the action movies, this, um, the music in this one is as important to this as um, any of the James Bond scores were to, uh, it, to the James Bond films, but... That's all I've got for this review. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this uh, Voice of the Movies, I have one every Saturday, or that's my goal anyway. Um, feel free to subscribe to this channel and and uh, like this video. Um, I try to have other videos up daily, but Saturday's my Voice of the Movies episodes. Uh, follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Just search for Bob the Film Guy. And for now, this is Bob signing off.